I know you're aware of storms moving through the Ozarks causing damage. You may be on the receiving end of that damage, your home especially, from time to time. It's good to know people that you can trust. Now with me today is Keith Barber and he is the president and owner of Storm Restorations of America. Thanks for having us yeah, by, first for of coming. all. The whole idea of trust, that's something that I know your company is, they're based on, and they want to make sure that when they're doing business with their clients, that there is that foundation of trust as to what's being done. Yeah, absolutely. We have a set of core values, and trust is our number one core value. Mm -hmm. And that's trust between us and our clients, it's trust between myself and our team. Any company that's serving a client base really needs to have that at the, yeah. at the forefront. Well, I mean, there are levels of trust, and of course, you want to trust the people you're doing business with. You want to trust what they are doing, and you want to trust the materials that they're using. So it's that, that stair-step approach, and that's not always the case when it comes to storm restoration because I know there are times that I personally in the past you have a big storm I'm seeing all kinds of names out there all of a sudden it's funny how when a hailstorm comes through like it recently has mm -hmm. how all of a sudden there's all new companies running around town right um, knocking on your door not to say that we won't occasionally knock on somebody's door but you know understanding who's a local company and, mm -hmm. and who's not I think is super important well I, I know one of the first things that I think of is the fact that you are a brick and mortar place you're not a van you're not you know you are a brick and what people can look eyeball to eyeball with you and with the people who work for you that's a hundred percent true we've we've been in the, the Ozarks, our companies date back to 1972. Mm -hmm. And so we've been serving Southwest Missouri for a long time. We've got, uh, we purchased a building. We have our corporate headquarters here in Highlandville, mm -hmm. as well as our local sales office. Are there some things that you can either say, folks, you need to watch for this, oh or where you can help people, you know, avoid some of the, the minefields? Yeah, one of the common things that we hear all of the time is that um, there are companies coming in and they're going to waive their deductible or not take their deductible when they're filing an insurance claim. Okay. And uh, I would refer anybody back to their agent if, uh, if you're hearing that from a local roofer or from any roofer that comes to town. Yeah. Um, and ask their local agent what that's all about because uh, by most accounts um, that can be considered fraud and insurance is kind of complicated. There are a number of people, the, the Attorney General's office uh, is constantly handling issues, you know, there's several types of fraud. Um, one that we've seen unfortunately is where you'll give your roofing company some money mm -hmm. and then never hear from them again. There are some roofers who disappear. It, the numbers are actually kind of scary. Um, I recently saw a report from one of the manufacturers that showed that over 80% of the roofers that are here today will be gone within two years, and it's over 90% within five years. So if you've got somebody that's, you know, not gonna... wait, 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 wait. <laughs> But what I'm thinking is, two to five years, that's when those problems all of a sudden start showing up again and you can't find who worked on your roof. I'm gonna say something here that's probably gonna catch some people a little bit off guard, uh -huh. but if, if you've got a roof in Missouri, specifically Southwest Missouri, you're going to have leaks. Sooner or later. Sooner or later, it's yeah. going to happen. <laughs> if there's a roofing company promising you that you're never gonna have a leak, I, I just, you know, I, I yeah. wouldn't believe it. That's it. We, our customers have had leaks. Mm -hmm. The benefit of dealing with us over some of the others is when you have those leaks, you can call us. You're still and here. And we're still here, right. and we're gonna take care of those clients, and I am certainly not gonna promise that we're perfect, you know, or that you'll never have a leak, yeah. uh, but I will promise that when you do, we're gonna stand behind it. You make it right. That's it. So if people are looking for more information, they might want to find out about your help, get an estimate, whatever it is, 
How do they do that? Sure. They can come to our office in Highlandville. Mm -hmm. We're right next door to Wacky Jacks, across the street from Central Bank, right up from the intersection of EE and 13. Or probably the easiest way nowadays for most people is just going to our website, stormrestorationsofamerica.com. Always a good idea to do business with people you can trust. Storm Restorations of America.